We are glad to have you back on the true word of God. Edgar Cayce, born in 1877, had a childhood different from most children, dedicating much of his time to studying the Bible. From a very young age, he sought answers in ancient texts, often studying outdoors in the Kentucky woods. Edgar claimed to see beings resembling fairies, which he described as more spirits than humans. At the age of 11, he had a vision where a woman appeared before him asking what he most desired in life. Edgar's answer was surprising. He wanted to have the ability to help others, especially sick children. This moment was decisive and marked the beginning of his journey in prophecies. In addition to his visions, Edgar faced difficulties in his studies. His father, concerned about his low grades, often scolded him. In one of those difficult moments, Edgar sat and discouraged, lay down and heard the woman's voice again. She suggested that he sleep with his head on the textbooks, and curiously, by following this advice, he discovered that he could remember everything upon waking up. Edgar also suffered a severe accident at school, seriously injuring his back to the point of being unable to move. His family was terrified of the situation. One night, while he was half asleep, Edgar spoke aloud about a recipe for herbal medicine. Desperate to help him, his parents decided to try the recipe, and to everyone's surprise, it worked. Edgar recovered completely the next day, as if he had never been injured. These events were the first signs of Edgar's unusual abilities, which would later reveal themselves impressively. Edgar Case became known for making predictions about world events, including the beginning and end of the two world wars, the end of the Great Depression, and the death of two U.S. presidents. He also predicted China's rise as a global economic power and the end of communism in Europe. Although some of his predictions did not come true, such as the return of Jesus by the year 2000, his prophetic abilities brought both admiration and controversy. Many still wonder today whether Edgar Case was truly a prophet. Motivated by the desire to help others and his newfound confidence in his abilities, Edgar Case began offering psychic readings. Unlike other prophets of his time, Edgar's predictions were not limited to one type of prophecy. He addressed a wide range of topics, from health and well-being to spirituality and spirituality, past lives, ancient civilizations, and future technologies. The feats of the sleeping prophet were limitless. In 1902, a young girl with a severe head injury was brought to him. The doctors thought she would not survive, but Case indicated that the real problem was in her spine, not her brain. He suggested that the doctors adjust her spine. Edgar read the body as if it were an x-ray machine, using medical terms with surprising accuracy. Within a few months, the girl showed great improvement. Edgar also used his gifts for the good of the economy. In 1929, knowing that the stock market was about to crash, he warned his friends to sell their stocks. Those who heeded his advice managed to save a lot of money. People sometimes asked Edgar Case who would win a horse race or what would happen in the stock market, and he often responded bringing profits to those who followed his advice. A few years later, he predicted that the economy would improve by 1933, and he was right again. In 1934, he said that Hitler would become an influential leader in Germany, which came true that same year. Case also predicted that Hitler's rule would not last forever and that a war from outside Germany would end his empire. He anticipated that a significant war would break out in the heart of Europe, and Germany initiated World War II, which led to the end of Hitler's reign. Edgar Case also spoke about the existence of ruins of an ancient civilization under the ocean near Bimini. In 1938, he suggested that the city was Atlantis, a super-advanced city from history. Case saw Atlantis as a massive continent in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Interestingly, in 1968, some underwater structures were found in Bimini, which some researchers believe might support Case's prophecies. One of Case's most famous predictions was about the 44th president of the United States. He said that this president would be African American, which came true with the election of Barack Obama. Edgar Case also predicted the deaths of presidents John Kennedy and Franklin Roosevelt. 
He foresaw civil and racial rights issues that would lead to social unrest in the United States during the 1960s. Case was aware of the realities of the Cold War at the height of the Soviet Union's power and stated that the world's hope would come from Russia, not in the context of communism, but of freedom. He said that this hope would take time, but that Russia would eventually free itself from communism, which indeed happened with the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991. Have you ever wondered what the prophecies of the Bible really mean? What secrets are hidden between the lines of the sacred scriptures? If you seek answers and wish to understand the true meaning behind these millennia-old words, our guide, Secrets Behind Biblical Prophecies, is essential for you. The link is in the first pinned comment, but don't waste time as it will soon be taken down. Another impressive example involves the Jewish sect known as the Essenes. In 1934, when little was known about them, Case provided detailed descriptions of the sect, which were later confirmed to be accurate. He even predicted that their records and documents would be discovered. Just 12 years later, the Dead Sea Scrolls written by the Essenes were found, giving credibility to Case's claims. These predictions of Edgar Case came true in the 20th century. But he also made some grim predictions for today. He predicted changes in the Earth's geography, stating that continents would shift and the climate would transform the world in unimaginable ways. He suggested that this change could occur simultaneously when the Etna volcano in Italy would erupt. And Pele and Martinique erupted, both are active volcanoes, with Mount Etna being one of the most active in the world, having erupted recently. One of the most critical aspects of this change would occur in Africa. Casey stated that the continent would split into three separate parts, a process caused by the formation of a massive new waterway. As the Nile River widened and the Red Sea grew significantly, this dramatic change could even submerge the bustling city of Cairo under the sea. Asia would also not escape these convulsions. Case predicted changes in the geography of India, China, Japan, Korea, and the Philippines. He foresaw that the Pacific Ocean would advance and swallow large parts of land from the Philippines to Japan, leaving only a few remaining islands. Additionally, the Korean Peninsula and parts of China's coast would also succumb to the rising seas. For India, Casey gave a specific warning. He advised against seeking refuge in the country's highest elevations due to the potential collapse of the land. Instead, he believed that the Himalayas in Tibet and Nepal would offer a safer refuge. Casey also made some not-so-positive predictions for Antarctica. He predicted that Antarctica would lose its ice cover turning into a vast green expanse perfect for agriculture. On the other hand, he said that Australia would not be so lucky, predicting that floods would take over a quarter of its territory, transforming the Adelaide area into a submerged city, while its arid deserts, such as Simpson and Gibson, would become fertile agricultural lands. In Europe, the prediction is no less dramatic. Case foresaw that much of northern Europe, including Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Denmark, would submerge, leaving behind a fragmented archipelago of islands. The United Kingdom would also suffer greatly, with vast areas from Scotland to the English Channel succumbing to the rising sea levels. However, he mentioned that some pockets of high ground, including London and Birmingham, might survive. Finally, he predicted that Ireland would be almost completely swallowed by the ocean, with only the highest peaks remaining above the waterline. For ocean lovers, the news may be seen as positive, as Earth's waters are about to expand. Case predicted that a new sea would form by the fusion of the Caspian, Black, and Baltic Seas, cutting Russia off from continental Europe and extending to Siberia, positioning Russia as a food center for Europe, as much of its territory would become a fertile agricultural powerhouse. The most surprising part was yet to come. Casey predicted a complete change in North America's geography. He claimed that Canada would see its coastline expand by an impressive 320 kilometers, transforming regions like Quebec, Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and parts of Alberta into safe havens for those displaced from Asia and Europe. According to his predictions, the North American plate would shift, creating a chain of nearly 150 new islands off the coast of California, this seismic change would also cause the West Coast to shift eastward towards Nebraska, Wyoming, and Colorado. As for the lakes, 
Case believed that the Great Lakes and the Saint Lawrence River would not be spared. They would merge into a single body of water flowing from the Mississippi River to the Gulf of Mexico. The east coast of the United States would not be so lucky. Case predicted extensive flooding along the entire coast from Maine to Florida submerging many areas. The coast of Mexico would also suffer from this aquatic invasion with the shores of Mexico submerging under the rising seas. Case stated that the Baja California Peninsula would fragment into a collection of islands. He warned that these dramatic changes would displace and potentially kill billions of people. Case predicted a dramatic extension of human life expectancy with people living for several centuries. Although we live longer than in Case's time, the idea of living for centuries still seems far from our current reality. He also made predictions about a major global conflict, believing that the Persian Gulf would be the ignition point of the conflict, suggesting that countries like Libya, Egypt, Syria, and even the waters near Australia would experience active hostility. Fortunately, a large-scale war has not yet begun. Perhaps the most unusual prediction involved China. Case predicted that China would rise to a position of global leadership, even becoming a significant center for Christianity. He acknowledged that this transformation would take many generations, but that China would eventually become a dominant force in the Christian world. Case also had some controversial predictions about the origins and future of humanity. He predicted a movement of civilization from the west to the east, with China taking the lead. His most controversial prediction involved human origins. According to him, five distinct human races were created simultaneously in different locations on Earth. He claimed that the white, black, red, brown, and yellow races emerged at the same time, and that God placed them strategically around the globe. Casey alleged that the red people were the Atlanteans who resided on a lost continent called Lemuria. He believed that they evolved and developed technology faster than any other race. Additionally, Casey claimed that Native Americans were directly related to the lost civilization of Atlantis, specifically the Cherokee people. The Cherokee have a long history dating back about 12,000 years, around when Atlantis supposedly sank. According to Casey, the survivors of Atlantis fled to the Americas and became the Cherokee and the Incas. He also believed in another lost land called Lemuria, located between Europe and America. According to him, people from Lemuria also fled and ended up in Greece, founding the Minoan civilization. He even thought they might have shared their advanced engineering skills with the Egyptians. At some point, Case suggested that we would still evolve from our current form. He said that there was a progressive evolutionary leap that began an impressive 18 million years ago. He believed that life itself emerged when the spirit transformed into matter. Furthermore, it's a fact. Casey claimed that we went through a significant evolutionary leap between 10,000 BC and 3000 BC. His ideas about human evolution speak of a future in which we will have significant advancements. According to Case, a new phase of human progress began in 3000 BC and should continue until our current era or until the year 2400 AD. He believed that we would achieve significant leaps in our knowledge and understanding. Casey predicted a dramatic transformation around the year 8000, suggesting that by then humans would overcome the limitations of our minds, reaching a point where traditional social structures and even schools would become obsolete. In this future, humans' humanity would evolve into a race of super-enlightened beings. However, it is important to note that some of Casey's prophecies were quite controversial and never came true, leading even his biggest fans to denounce some of them. For example, Case claimed that souls came to Earth and mingled with animals to create giant people 12 meters tall. He also imagined that a giant sun-powered crystal operated the lost civilization of Atlantis. There is no evidence of any of these events. Another prediction stated that the United States would find a death ray in 1958, the same type that supposedly destroyed Atlantis 12,000 years ago. In 1930, he said that major earthquakes would destroy Los Angeles, Angeles, San Francisco, but those cities still stand. These are not the only predictions of case that failed. Many religions, such as Christianity and Islam, 
talk about the return of Jesus to earth someday, but none provide a specific date. Edgar Case also made his prediction about when Jesus would return, saying that it would happen in the year 2000. So far, Jesus has not yet appeared, which shows that Case and others who made similar predictions were wrong. Other figures who were wrong include religious leader Frank Cherry, Pastor Ed Dobson, and even Timothy Dwight, president of Yale University in the 17th century. Even after almost a century, Edgar Cayce's predictions continued to generate discussions. Some of his followers believe that his visions are true, prophetic, insights into the future, full of events that will eventually happen. On the other hand, there are those who see them only as lucky guesses or baseless reveries. Regardless of opinions, it is undeniable that Casey left a deep mark on history, inspiring countless books and support groups and arousing great interest in understanding his worldview and possible revelations about our future. Experts from various fields study Casey's work, trying to unravel the mysteries behind his motivations and questioning whether he was accessing a universal truth or just possessed an extraordinarily perceptive mind. Casey performed more than 14,000 readings and with such a large number, it is statistically possible that some predictions coincided with real events. However, critics point out that these hits usually receive more attention than the mistakes. Additionally, they criticize Casey's use of vague language and terms like maybe and possibly common tactics among seers that allow people to interpret generic statements as applying to any situation that might arise. Critics also note that Case received letters from sick people, entered a trance, and tried to help them by telling them what was wrong. The problem is that, in some cases, the people had already died before he performed his readings. Casey's supporters argue that if those people had followed his advice while they were still alive, perhaps they would not have died. However, a question arises. Should they not have informed Casey that the person was already dead? It seems strange that the readings only occurred after the people died. Whenever Casey's predictions were wrong, there was always an excuse. For example, he once indicated a specific location for a buried pirate treasure. Many people searched, but nothing was found. Casey's supporters suggested that perhaps the ghosts of the pirates or indigenous people moved the treasure. It seems rather convenient to blame invisible spirits when things do not go as expected. Despite the skepticism, Case still has fervent defenders. One of the main arguments of his supporters is the accuracy of some of his diagnoses and advice to sick people, even without medical training. In these cases, along with the general fascination with psychic phenomena, are noteworthy. Contribute to his lasting legacy. A recent survey showed that many people believe in some form of extrasensory perception or psychic ability. The survey also reveals the diversity of mindsets between believers and skeptics. Those who do not believe in psychics tend to be more analytical and critical thinkers. While believers generally have a more emotional and creative thinking style, interestingly, believers also reported experiencing greater happiness and lower stress levels than skeptics. The issue of psychic abilities and religious miracles has always intrigued many people mainly because these phenomena challenge traditional scientific explanations. It is undeniable that such experiences can bring comfort to those who are suffering, hope to those facing difficult times, and even a sense of order in a world that often seems chaotic. This raises an important question. Does the supernatural really exist? This is a complex question without a definitive answer. While some people find meaning, and comfort in supernatural beliefs, others are more skeptical and prefer explanations based on logic and science. It is true that some individuals who identify as psychics may not have genuine intentions and may be more interested in profiting from others' vulnerabilities. However, it is important to recognize that regardless of the truth of psychic powers, the emotional and psychological impact these beliefs can have on people is very real. An interesting curiosity that we need to share have you ever heard why Edgar Case was called the Sleeping Prophet? This nickname was given to him because Case made his predictions and readings while he seemed to be sleeping, or rather, while he was in a trance state. He would lie down, 
close his eyes and still be able to talk about incredible things that seem to come from another dimension. Now think about the possibility of accessing parts of our minds that we normally do not use. Edgar Cayce showed that perhaps we all have a hidden capacity to reach deep knowledge just by changing the way we use our minds. If we learn to do this like Casey, imagine how many mysterious and interesting things we could discover about the world and ourselves. This makes us reflect on the incredible power that resides within each of us, waiting to be explored. Do not forget to download our book, The Secret Behind Biblical Prophecies.